How long is too long to leave pizza out and then still pick it up and eat it? Is it two hours? Is it six hours? Is it safe? overnight our insiders poll found a wide range of answers yeah and we're about to find out because the real question is how long is it safe to leave pizza out for dr frank mcgeorge joins us after going to extreme lengths to get an accurate answer here this question really fascinates me first because over the course of my life i've eaten a lot of pizza and it hasn't always been the freshest second like many people i haven't always been the most careful about properly storing it which got me thinking how much risk was I taking with my bad habits? So let's start with what the recommendation is. Two hours, that's the official recommendation on how long you can safely leave pizza out before refrigerating or tossing it. These food safety recommendations from the USDA are based on validated studies and also what we know about how different foodborne pathogens grow at certain temperatures. That's Dr. Teresa Bergholz. She studies food safety at Michigan State University. To be clear, if you have any concerns, two hours is the safest limit to keep food unrefrigerated, a sentiment echoed by DeAnthony Morris, a graduate student in Dr. Bergholz's lab. I am super serious about food safety. I would never eat a pizza. Once it's two hours, I throw it away. Those recommendations are all well and good, but they completely don't take into account what goes on in the real world. What is the longest you will leave pizza out and still eat it? Um, probably like four hours. Anytime before 24 hours is cool. Like 12 hours. Pizza is a party and convenience food, which means from the time it's prepared to the time the last slice is eaten can easily hit six hours or more. And a two hour rule just seems unrealistic especially when it comes to pepperoni pizza, the most popular topping in the United States. Dr. Bergholz agree, it was a legitimate question. What is it about pepperoni pizza that might make it safe to leave out beyond two hours? Right, so first, if you're following proper baking instructions, we know that that should kill any microbes that are present on the pizza as you're baking it. So when it comes out of the oven, we assume that there's no microbes on that. Baking the pizza is considered in the world of food safety a kill step, basically sterilizing it. On top of that, the pizza itself shouldn't grow bacteria easily. Toppings like pepperoni that has both a high salt content, which means it has a lower moisture content, and that factor is something that will either extremely slow or completely eliminate microbial growth. But Dr. Bergholz points out, this is specific to pepperoni. Other toppings with higher moisture content like pineapple or spinach, or that are added after after the kill step at the end of baking won't hold up as well without refrigeration. The bottom line on eating pepperoni pizza that's been left out? Honestly, I think it's something that people do. It's probably reasonable. I have done it myself. Now, of course, all of this was just an educated prediction, and both Dr. Bergholz and I really wanted to put it to the test. So we went to the extreme, and we devised an experiment to actually measure microbial growth on pizza using real-world circumstances. And tonight at 5, I'll show you what we did and the impressive results that might change what you do the next time you order pizza.